When it comes to RV repair and upgrades, many RV owners wonder, can I fix my RV myself? Hello, I'm Stephen Holmes, Director of Service Operations for Keystone RV Company. We know your time is valuable, and we understand the cost associated with bringing your travel trailer or your fifth wheel to your dealership for repairs. That's why as a manufacturer, we're sharing our RV Pro tips in a series of DIY RV videos for those of you that might want to tackle the simple stuff yourself. Remember to always use caution, and if at any time you are uncomfortable, please stop what you're doing and schedule an appointment with your authorized dealership. Even more importantly, never work on any safety-related items. Hey there, I'm Charles Bridge. Welcome to another episode of RV Pro Tips. And today we're gonna to show you how to replace a 12 volt light. Some common reasons to replace a light can be it simply doesn't work anymore, it may be accidentally damaged, or you may just want to upgrade to a new light such as an LED. Here are the tools you will need. Square bit screwdriver, our screw gun with a number two square bit, wire strippers, wire nuts properly gauged, and electrical tape, flashlight, and a new light fixture. There are many different 12 volt lights in RVs today, and yours may be different than what we are changing today. Some lights are mounted with screws and some have spring-loaded clips. Before changing the lights, we need to prevent the possibility of blowing a fuse by disconnecting the power of the unit. If equipped, turn off the battery disconnect or disconnect the 12 volt battery and unplug the unit from shore power. Let's get started. Remove the cover from the light by gently twisting. Now that we have exposed the mounting screws, Take your screw gun with the number two square bit and remove the screws holding the light into place. Once the light is loose, carefully pull the wires until you have exposed the bell connectors. On the factory ran wire, you will notice one side is solid white and the other side is white with a colored stripe. This is done to identify the function of the wire. The solid white wire is always the ground or negative connection and the colored stripe wire is the hot wire, better known as the battery positive. Before you cut the wires, look at the new light wires compared to the old. On the old light, black is to the factory positive and white is to the factory ground. The new light is the same. Now that we know what is positive and what is negative, we can wire in the new light with confidence. With the wire strippers, cut the connections free and discard the old light. Use the wire strippers to remove up to a half inch of sheathing off the factory wires to expose the conductive portion. Do the same to the new light. Using the new light and a wire nut, twist together the negative wire to the solid white wire in the wall. Now do the same with the positive wire to the colored stripe wire in the wall. Then tape each wire nut with electrical tape. With the wire connections complete, push the wire connectors and any excess wiring back into the wall to allow the light assembly to sit flush. Using the screws that were removed, reinstall them through the pre-drilled slots in the light back into the wall. Be sure not to over tighten as you may strip the screws. Reinstall the cover. Plug the shore cord in, hook up the 12 volt battery, and turn on the battery disconnect. Now, let's test the light to make sure it works. And there you have it. If you have an idea for a DIY video you would like to see, please leave us a comment. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more RV Pro tips, or visit our webpage under How To's. Thanks for watching.